Neil's going to cut away to club bed again, you know. That's what he always does every night. He says, Q Ray, and then there you see, I know what happens. <laughs> Nina's left some of her naughty magazines down here. Nina. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, <laughs> we're all here. Keep you happy. Hey, hey. we on yet? Yeah? Yes, sorry. Oh, uh, good evening and hello and welcome to the very last Wednesday evening. Um, good evening, my friends, to the show that never ends except that it is ending. It ends the day after tomorrow. This is the very last Wednesday evening, and I must tell you, I and mean, I shouldn't bother really, but I must tell you, I'm feeling a little bit ill. So that's good timing. So by the time I'm here tomorrow night, I'll be seriously ill again with the the flu or la grippe, uh, as we know it in French. But uh, one man who's been uh, recently suffering from more than the flu, yes, it's lopsided Andy Cam. Hello, Andy. I'm not lopsided anymore. No, you're not, because one of my golf balls came in handy. Two of them, actually. Do you know I don't actually play golf, Andy Cam? Don't you? So it what wasn't, did you do with the balls? Um, it wasn't one of my golf balls. Oh. Yeah. So, very good evening. How are you, Andy Cam? Very well, thank you. And how's both of them hanging? Splendid. Lovely. Good. It's good because Andy Cameron's got himself balanced out, haven't you? I have. Because that's why the camera's always been a bit lopsided for the past four years, because poor old Andy Cam's been handling with one and not two. And now he is. And now he's all right. So, just, um, the time for the end of the series. just behind you, I see, as the place he likes to be most, is uh, <laughs> Cutis. Ugh. Hello, Raymond. Hello, Cutis. Let's start as we mean to go on. Ushi, 18, from Austria. Um, Ushi, you don't need to write your age. That's what newspapers do, don't they? They say, Illegal. Nina Ferguson, 22, working on Most Wanted with Ray, 22 and a half. <laughs> uh, that's what they always say, don't they? Get it wrong. They do. Uh, back to Cutis. Please tell Cutis that he's a hunk. He should join Take That as the fifth member. Can't, can't you ask him to sing something? <laughs> Cutest, do you know, uh, uh, all or not, each night is Ray, do you know that song? All, all, uh, was it, all what? You know, take that song, go on. All I watch each night is Ray. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see. Every he'll come and kiss me goodnight. Oh, uh, yes. Um, maybe he could sing a rap song together with Lincoln Cam. Crap song. <laughs> Lincoln, do you want to give us any rap? I'll, I'll fill the programme. Um, jungle. Jungle? Jungle is massive. Jungle. Wicked, wicked. Go on then, give us a quick jungle rap. Massive. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. No, Club Bed, don't applaud him. <laughs> well, thank you, Lincoln. And uh, seeing as it's a jolly sing along evening, uh, over to Naughty Nympho Nina. Uh, hello, darling, who will now sing us a song from her favourite band. Uh, Ooh. Quick, Nina, fill in. I can't think of anything. Can't you? Uh, Singer, I'm a floor manager. I'm a floor manager. Are you a floor manager? Yes. But you should be able to sing at the same time. No, I'm floor manager. Go on, sing us a song from Bon Jovi, your favourite band. <laughs> not my favourite band. They are, band. you love them. No, they're not. You think John Bon Jovi is a sexy hunk. No, I don't. She's you... told me. I haven't, you're you lying have. now. And you think Richie Sambor is lovely. Which one's and that? And Elton John's your favourite songwriter. But what's wrong with that? So sing us an Elton John song then, Nina. Um... Mm. Help me out. I will be here all night if you don't do it right. Oh well, it's too late, Nanny, and you've missed your singing oh, moment. Oh, no. Why don't you sing the menu? Ah, who me? No, I'm yes, not. Yes, you. I'm not singing. No, anything. don't no, sing. No, no, no. Don't sing. No, 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 no. Uh, welcome to Most Wanted, Nina. And hello to you at home. It's the very last Wednesday that we'll be bringing you this show, so I'll never be able to say it's Wednesday and the middle of the week again ever. Well, I will to Nina, but it won't be the same. You will do in the park with a bottle of cider. Yes. <laughs> yes, you've asked what I'll be doing next year, and I will be in um, the Regent's Park in Camden Town with a bottle of fizzy cheap cider. And um, um, no, we won't. Won't we? No, we will definitely not. Oh, all right then. No. Okay. Well, let's say a quick hello to the people at home. <laughs> no, it's not them. <laughs> the people at home. Nina. Now, club bed. Every time Nina asks you to applaud, you don't have to. <laughs> uh, we haven't said hello to club bed yet, but we haven't also said hello to Big Ben Dover, have we? We haven't. So here's Big Ben Dover with one of his favourite songs from Boyzone. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Big Ben. You're always trying to be cool with Lincoln Cam, but we know you love Boyzone. Come on, Big Ben. It's your big moment. Well, let me see yours. Give me one. Give it. Don't love me for fun, girl. Let me oh. be the one, girl. 
love, love me for a reason. Let the reason be love. Yay! Yay. Yay. And the, the saddest thing of all, ladies and gentlemen, is that Big Ben Dover thinks he's cool after doing that. He's, <laughs> he's, he's walking around the studio going, yes. and it wasn't cool at all, Good Big song, Ben. Mate. Good song. Good song. Good song. Good yes, song. you can. Um, we've also got lots of uh, faxes for Pathetic Pat. We'll bring them to him later. And uh, thank you, Israel. Shalom to you too. We'll miss you too very much. Uh, thank you for sending us that. Now, um, let's do the menu to keep Wicked Will happy. Here is Wicked Will in his little speaker. This is where he lives, down here, Wicked Will. And Put me down. He'll now sing a song from his favourite... Put me down! Come on, Will. Your favourite band's Oasis. Come on. Come on. You put a roll with it. <laughs> Is that it? You gotta say what you say. Don't let anybody <laughs> get in your way. Yes! Get on with it. All right, okay, right. Okay, right. Well, that's a new idea. What are they clapping for? I don't know. I know why they're clapping because I'm about to read the menu. That was a good idea, the singing bit. I wish we'd have thought of that three years ago, <laughs> Nina. You always get the best ideas when you're just about to finish something, don't you? Do no, let's not talk about that, Nina, what happened last night, because um, it wasn't good for me. I know. Welcome to Most Wanted. Hello to the people at home and the people in Club Bed! Yeah! <laughs> there they are. There they are. Nina, we've got Claudia Shipper sitting on the end. You didn't tell me that? Ah, <gasps> Lincoln! Miss Claudia's in with us. Sorry. Sorry. That's put, twin sister, actually. Put me off the rest of the show now. St Etienne are tonight's band. We're very, very happy they're here. They'll be here in a few short minutes, but right now, here they are on video. It's tonight's special guest. <laughs> There we go, there's St Etienne performing live on tonight's show. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to interact with us, because that's the sort of show we are, if you want to put your input in our output, here are the numbers to fax and phone. Good evening. To telephone, dial your international code, then... Four. Four. One. Seven. One. Two. Eight. Four. Zero. Four. Zero. Four. If, like me, you have a fax, dial your international code, then... Four. Four. One. Seven. One. Two. Eight. Four. Zero. Five. Zero. Five. Thank you. Do give us a fax or a call on any of those numbers. Uh, a bit of a problem here in the studio. Um, this is live TV show. Anything can go wrong. And little naughty Nympho Nina's worried and she's walking around going, my Tampax is broken. <laughs> is it, Nina? <laughs> That's what she said. It's my talk back. Your talk back? Yes. Sorry. Raymond. Sorry. Um, you should have your ears syringed. Who are you talk? Well, if you want to later on, I'm sure you can time me up to the bed and do that. It's in my ear. Is, is something going wrong? In, Nina's talk back's not working, Neil. How are we going to make the show now without Nina? I'll be okay. Right. I know where you're wearing green tonight. Come on, then. Because it's a... Thanks, Curtis. Here we go. Look, oh, Nina, look. Okay. This is how... Look, I'll show you how it works because I'm a professional. Hello, Neil. Over to you. Hello, Ray. Over. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, Neil. Um, I'm handing this over to Nina now for the rest of the evening. Over to you. Good. Over. Works, Nina. Thank you very much. And mobile, you can phone your mum and everything. Oh, it's mobile phone. It's sort of a walkie-talkie mobile phone. Now, Nina's wearing green because it's a very important evening tonight in the world of football. <laughs> yes. Nina, Nina said she wasn't going to come home to watch me watching football last night. That's how mad she was that I wanted to watch England's sad performance against Portugal. It's true. Yes, and she wouldn't watch me watching football, so, no. so I had to watch her doing something else. Yeah. Terrible. So tonight is a very important uh, match going on if you're a football fan. Chances are you're not watching this programme. But uh, maybe you know someone who's a football fan and is watching the Republic of Ireland play against one of the best teams in Europe, Holland. All for a part of the European Championship next year, which happens here in England, uh, which means that, luckily enough, we're in it, aren't we? <laughs> this uh, time. Otherwise we wouldn't be. No. Uh, but uh, they're playing tonight, and there's one person who can't be with us tonight. 
because of that reason. He is idiot Phil, he's very Irish uh, all the way through his blood and he's down the pub with his mates watching the show because it's more important than watching this show. But luckily he's left you a little message at home and he's here on this rather expensive pathetic Pat stereo. <laughs> Look at that. So let's see if this works. Uh, play. Good evening, because I thought of you at home because I know how much you like him. Good evening, idiot Phil. Be here. Right, well that was, uh, that was well rewound, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Very good setting up, Will, queuing of the tape. Um, well, okay, Will, uh, Phil, let's just know that it's you. Uh, could you please give us an idiot? It's all very well, Will, putting it in here, but you've got to queue it up properly. You didn't press it. I pressed it and nothing happened, did it, Nina? No, it didn't. Look, it says, and now look what's happened, we've broken it now, look. <gasps> you well, you broke it, I, I didn't, didn't touch it. That's going to be really upset. We all saw Nina do it. Listen, 60 million people saw you do it. Will's just, 60 million people? Oh my God, uh, Wicked Will's just said, be careful with this, Ray, it's not ours. It's Pat's. It's a bit too late now. It's Pat's, is it? Yeah. It's really not ours, says Will, and it's not Pat's either. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Well, we'll be, buying someone, we'll be buying someone a replacement for that, Curtis. It looks like it only costs ten pounds anyway to me. Right, on with the show. Jungle is massive. Wicked Mental Dope, Peace 25G. Glad to have you with us this evening on our, on our very last Wednesday evening. And our very last phone call to someone who has become a regular part of this show because we love his laughter, it's very infectious, and uh, we can't understand a word he's saying, but that makes it even funnier for me. Uh, yes, it's time once again to call up our Nigerian correspondent, Christian. And some of club bed going, oh no. Um, and luckily tonight we've got some very good news for Christian because someone has written in and, and wants to get to know Christian a little bit better. Now the problem is, Nina, um, what? Blue letter, yes, 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 yes. Christian A. Who we phoning first? The girl or the boy? No one told me either. Hello? There's no one on the boat. <laughs> We're all right. It's all going to go horribly so, wrong. It's all going to go horribly wrong. It's all right, then. We've only got two days left. Okay. So, Christian in Nigeria, we launched Christian Aid a couple of weeks back. Thank you, Andy Cam, for that um, dramatic move in, as I was about to say something really important. <laughs> and of course, I'm not. Uh, but here was, now, I don't know how this has slipped through the research, Nina, yeah. but this young lady would like to get to know Christian a lot better. Yes. Now, the only problem is, Nina... Yes. Oh, sorry. Did you know that she's only 15? Yes. Can I only ask for some... Hello? Dangerous. Uh, hello? Yeah? Could I, could I speak to Christian Oradaiki, please? It's his friend, Ray. Friend Ray? Ray. Alright, hold on for him, please. Hey. Alright. Pardon? Okay, hold on for him. Hello? Hold on. Okay, well, hold on. Thank you very much, sir. Sorry. Okay, hold on. Look, I talk to him. Hello? Hello? <laughs> okay, talk to him now. Talk to him now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Christian. Hello? Christian? Hello, hello, yeah, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Christian! Hello. <laughs> Christian, how are you today? Fine, sir. Thank you. Good, good. Have you had a good, uh, good week so far? Yeah, yeah. No problem. Good, excellent. Okay, now, Christian, good news for you. We found you a woman. Yeah, thank you very much. What you have told me that you have found one for me last week. Ah, we found another one for you last week. Yes, well, we found, him another one. We found you another one now because uh, two girls is more fun than one. <laughs> It's good, it's good, anyway. Christian. Aye? Uh? The only problem is, this young lady happens to be 15, so you've got to be on your best behaviour with her. Okay. 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 Uh, or she's only 15, so be gentle. Oh, 15, eh? Aye? Hello? 15, Yes. Hello? Yes. Uh, yes, right. Now, Christian... I'll be gentle to her. In fact, I will enjoy me very, very well. Oh, he's lovely. He's always gentle and romantic. I think that's what he said. I think he, <laughs> <laughs> he basically said... Oh, it's okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Christian! Hello? Hello? Christina! 
Yeah. Just a second. <laughs> Just a second, Christina. Christian, the girl's name is Christina, and she's on the it, phone. The girl's name is Christina. Yeah. Very, very nice. Very nice. Oh. Very, very lovely. But so, I hope that it's, also, it's my love, anyway. Oh. Eh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Christian, we've got her on the yeah. phone, and she's there on the phone now. Would you like to talk to her? Yeah, in fact, I would be if I talk to her. Right. Just a second. Christina. Yes. Yeah. Good okay. evening. Good evening, Ray. Hello, Christina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. We've got your photo, we've got your letter, and uh, we've got Christian on the phone for you now. Okay. Okay. Uh, do, are you any, uh, Hello, Christina. Oh, come on, old Hello, dog. Christian. He's so cool. Hello, Hello, Christina. How are you? How are you? It's love. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm Christian now. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm very good to speak for the first time. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't understand you, Christian. Talk slower, Christian. She's from Germany. From Germany? Yeah. Okay. Christian? Hello? Yes, hello. Hello? Hello. Hello? Yes? Do you know English very, very well? Pardon, I didn't un understand you, Christian, but can I ask you a few questions? Forgive me. Pardon, please? <laughs> Ray, I didn't understand him. Please tell me what he said. Christian! Hi? Can you speak a little bit slower? She wants to ask you some questions, but she doesn't understand everything you say. I do. <laughs> but he, he hears very well. Okay, Christian, just listen and she'll ask you some questions. Yes. Okay, let, him, let her go and ask me. Okay. Yes, uh, Christian, do you still go to school or do you have a job? Yeah, I'm still schooling, but this is electrical engineering. Uh-huh. And, um, where do, we, where do you live in Nigeria? In Lagos. 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 Ah, uh -huh. and is it close to the beach where you live? Ooh. Pardon? Do you live close to the beach? Yes. Yes? Oh, that's fine. Um, and what do you do in your free time? If I, I read novels and listen to music. Oh, that's fine. Who's your favorite singer? Pardon? Who's your favorite singer, Christian? Hello? Who's your favorite singer? My best singer? Yeah. Pardon? You mean, you mean my best singer? Yes, Christian. And uh, do you have your own flat? <laughs> Just a second. Christina? Yes? Why did you want to know if Christian lives near to the beach? Well, I think I could visit him and I could go to the beach. Oh! That's why she wants to know if he's got his own flat. Ah, Christian! Uh, she, Christina would like to visit you in Lagos and then go to the beach together for some walks because she's only 15. I would like to go to the beach together with Right, well... I, I don't know how talking that one would be. Right. <laughs> now, Christina. Yes? Is there anything else you'd like to ask Christian before you start phoning him up on your parents' bill and it costs you a lot more money? <laughs> uh, well, no. I, I've asked all questions I wanted to ask him. Christian, have you got any Hello? other... Hello? Hello? <laughs> have you got any other questions for the beautiful Christina? But I, I would like to see, to see the girl's pictures and, uh, and the telephone number so that I will be calling her any time I like. Oh, you want to call her any time you like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Christian, we'll give you Christina's phone number, and uh, Christina will give you Christian's phone number. Yes, okay. Okay, and um, yeah. if you fall in love, will you come back on on the show? Will we haven't got a show? Um, if you come, will you write to us and tell us how you get on? Yes, of course, we will. Oh, look, look, we can make a lovely couple. Yeah. Christian, how old are you? Me, I'm a kid. Eh? I, uh... Yeah? Are you 18? Yeah. 
Right. Name. I'm 20. <laughs> Name. <laughs> now, well, 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 I'm going to I'm a bit I'm of... I'm going to say I'm going to How old do you think I am, Christian? <laughs> you are about... 38, 30 years. About what? 60. You are about 38 or 30 years old. 30? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. OK. Uh, Christian, keep the media reports coming for the next few weeks. We'll phone you back in about three weeks. <laughs> no. About three weeks? Christian? Yeah? There's some sad news. We haven't got a show after Friday. Ah. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, are there any TV stations in Nigeria who need crap TV presenters? <laughs> are you going to the KGB? <laughs> Christian? We have many of the each state, we have participated in, uh, in Nigeria. All the states have their television channels. Ah, fine. Yeah. Good. Um, who else is there with you at the moment? Because you keep speaking to somebody else before you answer the question. Me? No, no, no. Hello? Hello? Christian? Yes? We just want to hear for one very last time the thing that attracted Christina to you more than anything else because you're a very handsome man but we all love the way you laugh. Will you give us a Christian laugh to remember you by? Just come again. Will you, will you just give us a big Christian style laugh? Like a... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give her all my love. In fact, I'll give her all my love itself. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Christian, for the very last time this series, Thank you very much for being with us in Nigeria and we look forward to talking to you next year. Next year? Yes. Say hello. Hello? What's the guest phone number? Right. Which I feel I should give me. Uh, yes. I'll pass you on to someone. I'm trying to... Um, goodbye. Hello, Christian. Hello? 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 <laughs> hello? 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 Goodbye. Hello? 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 Yeah? Bye, Christian and Christine. Bye, Christian. Christina, good luck with your new love affair, but please be very careful. You're only 15, OK? Yes. But, uh, Ray, can you please send me a T-shirt? Please. Well, you've got one on this picture here. <laughs> well, I need another one because it's too small. T-shirts can never be too small on girls. Raymond, she's only 15. Well, but I understand. Yes, OK, Christina, we'll send you a T-shirt. And, Christian... Thank you very much for being with us. Hello? Hello, yeah. Hello? Hello? Let me, let me say hi to the girl for the last time. No. Right. the number. We'll give you the phone number of the girl last time. Don't you worry, Christian. Um, have a lovely rest of the week and uh, join us here on MTV's Most Wanted for some live music from the lovely, fabulous St Etienne after the break. Hello? Hello, yeah. <laughs> It's just something I forgot to do. Very important, Nina. And you know, well, I thought you were going to remind me last week because you will never get any buyers now, Nina. It's all too late. I've got to put these up in there. Like that. <laughs> right, put, put one over here. Put one over there. Club bed. Oh, one yeah. in that corner. Oh. Uh, sorry, club bed. It's all gone. It's all gone. Oh. That one doesn't go there, does it? Hello. <laughs> Hello. How much are you asking, Rick? How much am I asking for what? For the whole lot. Oh, for the... So I thought you were making me a proposition there, sir. <laughs> uh, going cheap, actually, going cheap. Although Nina's quite expensive. Uh, we put one over here? Let's put one over here, Andy Cam. Because, look, Dave sits there, thinks he looks cool every night of the week, mixing the mixing desk. He won't think he's so cool when it's being sold, will he? That's for you, Dave. Oh, thanks, mate. Working on my Rico show and everything. Traitor. I haven't got any cable holders in. Hello, Nina, darling. Do you fancy a quick tango? 
No? Okay. Fine. All right. Uh, no, you're not having a kiss from me, Curtis. Well, we can go later. We can tango later, darling. We can do anything you like later. Welcome, very back. Welcome back to the very last Wednesday here on MTV's Most Wanted. It's, it's sad and sadder. <laughs> I think this illness I'm getting is psychosomatic. Yeah. Right? Big word, that, isn't it? Um, look, Daniel Holden from Luxembourg. Um, we all know where Luxembourg is, don't we? We do. It's that place you say, oh, there was Luxembourg when you're driving your car. And you're <laughs> suddenly in Germany or Holland or France. Right, that's where you're going to be working. Do you know don't, not Luxembourg TV is the biggest TV in the world, Andy Cam? Curtis Cam, Curtis right. Cutis. I'd love to work for them. <laughs> um, thanks for asking, answering my question last night because he was talking about the uh, last guest on the very last Most Wanted ever in the history of Most Wanted. On Friday evening, we've got our best friends, The Cure, coming in here, and they've said no to almost every other television station in the world this year, and they've done it as a personal favour to you and us. So we love them very much. And I'm, by the way, Robert, in case you're watching, I'm still practising and I've got the, the verse down, but I can't quite handle the middle eight bit, uh, BM things, B minor or something, or I don't know what it means, but yeah, me I'm still practising for Friday night because I'm going to play with them. Uh, Nina, I'm still practising for tonight because I'm going to yeah. play later. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Yeah. Yep. I always practice safe sex because then one day I'll get good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Um, as, um, and he's, he's wanted to know what, uh, the, so what the songs were going to be played. So we said I'll be playing Friday I'm in Love because we thought that would be a nice song to end on. Friday in I'm in Love with Nina and things like that. And it's all very romantic. And then um, he says, Daniel says, I bet you the, the new song they'll do will be Mint Car. Now, how do you know that, Daniel? Because that's the one they're doing. It's a fantastic new pop tune that the boys have written, and it's brilliant, and they'll be playing that. And I'll bet you the third song they'll be doing is Just Like Heaven, because you once said that it was all your all-time favourite song. You're completely 100% correct, Daniel. Those are the three songs they'll be doing. And um, I've worked out, says Daniel, uh, some questions you could ask the band, which will be very interesting, I think. So, thanks, Daniel, for your help. Here's Daniel's, <laughs> here's Daniel's questions for the difficult interview that I'll be doing with the band. Um, some pretty new original ideas here. When will the new single be released? What's the new video going to be like? Will the forthcoming world tour include, include small cities like Luxembourg? Aww. What's the name of the new album? How many songs will be on it? <laughs> Daniel, they're too tough. You can't go asking tough questions like that to friends like The Cure. But thanks for your help anyway. <laughs> and, uh, what? Yeah. Who are those people up there watching me? And who are these people? That's what? Yeah. We haven't got a monotone in here, Will, so we don't know what you're talking... Will's got a fantastic joke lined up for you at home, but... It's the secret camera in St Etienne's dressing room, green room. Oh, look at that food. Look at that. Look, bread disguised as... It's heroin disguised as bread. Yes, look. Oh, he's just popped a little pill. Who's that? It's a... It's Lincoln's nicking all the food. <laughs> well, and the, the, the man there is very interested because he's just yawned. So we better get on with it, I suppose, Nina. Yeah. That's the secret hidden camera in the green room. It's not very secret, though, because it's got a big man on the end of it holding it up and turning and it around. And a big red light. Yeah, so without further ado, let's meet tonight's <coughs> The Band. <laughs> yes, and there she is, Sarah Cracknell, St. Etienne, Popaholics, Pete Wiggs, Bob Stanley, and the gorgeous Sarah Cracknell. They bided their time with DIY pop experiments, tearing up the world and putting it back together in strange and glamorous ways. They took their name from a French football team and have recently collaborated, of course, with the French hearts of my personal friend, Etienne Daou. They've a greatest hits album at the moment and they're here to play a couple of songs from it. Here they are, it's Saint Etienne! <laughs> No, stop it, that sounds like a Chris Evans show, who's, who's a top TV presenter in the UK. Crap. But he's a top TV presenter, and he's rubbish, isn't he, Nina? Terrible. Yeah. We'll never have him on this show, you know. Never, never, no. never, never. Good evening, Sarah, and good evening, boys. Hello. Nice to see you. And uh, how's Etienne? Um, he's fine, actually. He's very well. He's on the phone. Later on, isn't Later he? Yeah. On. After I was hoping you were going to bring him in, because I do like him. He's lovely, he's sweetie. Yeah, close personal friend he was, right? He is, actually. Quite a close personal <laughs> friend, yeah. He is. <laughs> he invited me to a gig in Paris once, Nina. Oh, I've got him, yeah, okay. Aww. Yeah, and we fell in love, and I can't tell you about the rest. So, 
you're here and we're happy you're here. Thank right you. then, I'll do my bit. This is the sort of collection Greatest Hits Singles album, which is out now, kids. And this is a song which is in fact called, I do my research, Like a Motorway. It's St Etienne, turn it up and enjoy yourself. She's 
Not too cheap, is it? To stand there like that, Andy Cam? Uh, no. I think no, it is fair. Is it? It's fair. Right. Well. Don't you worry, we'll find someone who wants us somewhere. Why am I coming to all the speakers here? Let me turn that down. Good evening, you're watching the very last uh, Wednesday evening of MTV's Most Wanted and we asked you last night, uh, by the way, St Etienne will be back later on and uh, if you're worried about the football, apparently, and you're Irish, you'll be even more worried now because Holland have gone 1-0 up after 37 minutes. So, Holland are 1-0 up. What do you care? Don't you try and pretend that you're interested in football, Nina, just to get the better of us boys. I never pretend to be interested in football to get the better of your boys, do I? No, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. true. It's a very good evening to you. It's the last Wednesday evening of MTV's Most Wanted. Last night we asked you if you'd like to see anything or ask you any questions, and we've still got a few more in. Um, I'd like to see my wages. <laughs> so would I. I bet they're a joke, aren't they? <laughs> I bet they're about this big, your little pay packet, isn't yeah, it, Curtis? It's not fair. I'm just tuned in. We're talking about his pay packet, Mum. <laughs> okay. Um, well, what other packet would there be? No, I don't know, Kurt. It's too early. Ralph Vanden Ven in Buckel, uh, good evening, Ralph, says, um, Dear Ray, or Nina Ferguson, that's your name, isn't it? Yeah. It's not Naughty Nympho Nina, really, is it? No. It's Nina Ferguson. Yeah. Middle name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Oh, sexy. <laughs> sexy. It's even sexier, Nina. Rebecca. Uh, but I'd just like to say at this point of time, because I've been doing it for four years now, Nina is an extremely intelligent woman. We couldn't do without her on the team. <laughs> she just happens to be beautiful and sexy as well. Okay? Thank you very much. Right, Nina. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd like to see the back of the desk, says Ralph, where Ray sits, because we saw a bit yesterday, and I thought it was even more a mess than the office upstairs. Last night we showed you where Most Wanted's made. It's pathetic, isn't it? It's a big mess. Well, you're quite right, Ralph. Do you want to come round here, Andy Cam? Mm -hmm. uh, it's... I always had to. Do you want to come round here and you can? Come round here, Ralph. This is what is it does look a mess. You're absolutely right. What is, is all this stuff? Well, um, I, I don't know. It's been here for months, Andy Cam. Here's when I'm feeling when I'm feeling stressed and the show's not going well. I always have a Mariah Carey CD on hand so that I can go. Yes, yes. So I feel better. Uh, some toilet roll here. I don't know. That's because we've got a porter toilet. That's um, someone's bath Finch water. Make the we, thanks, Curtis. We once had this analysed and we haven't sent it back yet. Ooh, all right. and, uh, look, it's disgusting and there's a few fans down here, that's where we like them to have them. And of course if you look over here, there's the bins, Ralph. And I keep missing, look, I keep missing the bin with all the faxes. They're down there. And um, look, nice over ass. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Will. <laughs> and over here is my classic foam joke, which is ready to use at any time. I'm on the phone to someone. And uh, here's Naughty Nympho Nina's coat, which I'll be needing in a minute. Okay, Ralph? All right, it's very nice of you to come here, Andy Cam. It's the first time you've been here. It is, actually. In four years. Yeah. It's very nice. Well, thank you. There we go, Ralph. Another, another TV mystery demystified here on MTV's Most Wanted. And why do I need... I've, I've always had, in four years, right, two bins. And I've always said that's one too many. Now look how many I've got today. <laughs> Is the show getting that much rubbish in it, is it? Then we need to be on... You still can't get papers in the I'm going to put them over here, because it really... It annoys me quite a lot, really, Nina, in, in, in a funny sort of way. OK. Right, uh, and what I'll be able to do, of course... Sorry. Um, here's some fair facts here. I just want to read this one out to you, because next Wednesday, you won't be able to read faxes out. Right. No. Uh, this one says, uh, Wendy and Wilner. Hello, Wendy and Wilner in Eindhoven and the Netherlands, actually from South Africa, who just like to say, we think you're very sexy, Ray. <laughs> See, Nina? Yeah. Uh, we both happen to think that Englishmen are the sexiest and not Italians, like Enrico. <laughs> <laughs> of course, what I can also do from here now, I can uh, be extremely cool and uh, throw the faxes in the bin. <laughs> Straight in. <laughs> You missed. You didn't have a camera close enough to tell, yes, did, you? did you? Did <laughs> you? Blast. <laughs> OK. Uh, well, we finished with Ralph's facts. Thanks very much, Ralph. And, uh, <laughs> Straight in! <laughs> Where's the other camera? Oh, it's Big Bend over, you traitor. OK. Um, someone else wants to see the toilets at MTV building to see if there's any dirty jokes on the walls. There aren't, are there? They're not. No dirty jokes at all. Um, and I would like to know where all the videos are stored and how they are played, says Marika in Holland. It's too boring, Marika. They're in a library, aren't they? Yeah. And uh, we haven't got time to show you now, Marika, because unfortunately, right now, it's time to take a close look, because the bed's ready. That must mean only one thing. Time for bed. Is it Nina already? Yeah. Shall I go and get Mary in my costume on? Well, not quite. Shall I go and get my leather no, on? No, not before nine o'clock, sorry. Okay. All right. Roll VT, Neil. It's private parts. <laughs> Oh! 
straight in this time. Completely brilliant. Um, uh, oh, I'm glad to say that before we do private parts, we've just been joined by fluffy internet Phil. Uh, Phil! Yes, right. Look at him. How, many, how, many, how long do you spend in makeup before you come on this show? Uh, no makeup on. Isn't he? No. Oh, he still looks too hunky. Phil, we've got a, a fax here from Mark Zanzig in Hamburg, and he says, please take a quick look at our We Will Miss You page on the net. So, Phil, would you get us up on the net page for that? Will do. It's called Hotnet, so we're not quite sure what else you might find on there, Phil. But no doubt you'll know. You'll be there already. OK, we'll hand that over to Phil. Thanks, Mark. And thanks, Phil. You can stop posing now. We're not going to come to you anymore. <laughs> All right. Did you know that Fluffy Internet Phil actually lives with... <laughs> Pathetic... <laughs> with me. Yes, he lives with me. He lives with pathetic Pat. <coughs> no, he doesn't. He doesn't. You've moved out now, Phil, haven't you? I have. Yes, fine. Because you didn't like all pathetic Pats. <laughs> I'm on the phone to you at home now. Thanks, Phil. Here's the web page details you need somewhere over there. <laughs> and we're on the phone to someone at home. I don't know who it is. Oh, well, yes, I do. It's in Slovakia. Long way away. Did you see the World Cup draw for the football last night? Someone's fixing it because the Czech Republic are in the same group as the Slovak Please people. Stop talking about and football. both Bosnia and Croatia are in the same. Someone's fixing it. Because they put England in with Italy and we're never going to win anything. Never win anyway. You know, you like to talk about knitting when we go home. Well, not quite. Now we're on the phone to someone for private parts who uh, may have realised that they've just been phoned up for private parts and don't want to get involved. And in that maybe case, maybe we have got the wrong telephone number, Nina. Let's have a look at the back of the script. Um, what? Um, who can fill in? Oh, Curtis can fill in while we check out the number. Curtis, over to you. Well, where's the number, Nina? What? No, Will, I think it's the wrong number. <laughs> They're not going to answer, are they? Right, try. Okay. Curtis, it's youth TV. <laughs> try and make it interesting, Curtis. Curtis, you're no good in bed. Curtis! You're no good in bed. You're not making anyone laugh or anything. Now, I'm got... This has never happened. And so, do you know what Wicked Will, top TV producer, has just said Andy can? He says, we'll do it anyway. How the hell do we do it, Will, with no one to talk to on the phone? And, and he said, we can read the letter and show the item, but we can't destroy it without their permission. Unless Andy can wants to pretend to be the person. Mm, uh, um, hello, get... Neil. I think that no one's going to answer now. <laughs> um, we seem to have... Oh, blast. Um, blimey. Blooming hell. Well, blast. Put my jacket off yeah, you put your jacket off nothing, Lincoln, but don't worry. We, I'm told we have five people working on it at the moment. <laughs> there must be pretty crowded around that phone. I think it's the... Press the buttons. No, no, you dial it. Oh, no, you don't. Pick up the receiver first. No, you don't. P dial it before you pick up the receiver. Oh. Nothing. Hello. Hello. Is this Lucia Luchinska? Uh, just a moment, please. Thank you. We did have the wrong number. You see, after all of that, we had the wrong number. And Wicked Will wanted us to do it without the phone call. I can't Hello? believe it. Is this Lucia? Yes. Yeah. Lucia, what a beautiful name you have. Are you in Slovakia? Yes, I am. Are you Slovakian? Yes. You don't sound it. Your accent is very... Um, un English. English? Yes. You just said you were Slovakian. I know, but I went to England for two years. Ah. <laughs> and where did you get a name like Lucia? From my parents, probably. <laughs> of course, that's where names come from. <laughs> This is a good show, this. You learn something new on this show every day. <laughs> so, Lucia, we're very happy to talk to you. Uh, we thought we had the wrong number, but uh, luckily for us, we didn't. Unluckily for you, we've got the right number now. <laughs> Do you have any idea why we're phoning you up? A uh, little bit, yeah. A little bit? Yep. I'm going to miss all the Slovak accents, aren't you? <laughs> I'm going to miss you, right? No. I'm going to miss you too terribly, but let's not talk about that. No, not no, that. No, no, no. Because there'll be lots of tears on Friday night, Lucia. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. Because Luscious Liz, the makeup artist, has brought loads of eye drops in for me to uh -huh. put in my eyes and stream. <laughs> so, Lucia. Yeah. We're phoning you up because a very good friend of yours, until today. Yeah. Michaela. Yeah. You know her? Yes. <laughs> she's one of your best friends? Yes. 
Maybe she won't be uh, after tonight. <laughs> I don't know. She's written in and she sent us one of your private parts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> club bed, yes, Actually, club bed are lovely tonight because last night we had some bloody hooligans in here, didn't we, Nina? <laughs> they're lovely tonight. Yeah, they were friendly, but they were hooligans nonetheless. <laughs> um, um, anyway, the man on the back. Lucia, yes. do you have any idea... Nina, will you stop pointing out people in club bed you fancy all the time? Sorry. Puts me off. Um, Lucia, do you have any idea what your friend Michaela has sent us in as one of your private parts, something she really doesn't like, that you own? I do have a suspicion, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Could it be small enough to fit in this box? I can't see you, Ray, I'm afraid. Can't you? No, I've got the sound far away. Ah. Right, you can't see us then? No, but I'm taping it all. I'm taping you every night. Taping, taping it all? Yes. Every night, lovely. and then I'll watch it next day because I can't watch it in the, in the evening. Oh, that's lovely. You manage to tape it every night? Yes. More than I can do, isn't it? <laughs> Lucia? You're worth it. L well, you're worth it too because <laughs> only with people like you that we stayed here this long. Well, I wish you'd stay the next year as well. Yes, but look. Lucia, it's got to that point of time in our life when Nina and I want to have a baby. Oh, God! So how are we going to have a baby if we're here every night? We're not having a baby. Are Hang we? on. No, we're not. That, oh. that, that makes me jealous. No, Lucia, we're, we're not having a baby apparently anymore. OK. <laughs> Come back next year and do something. What? I'm going to have to wait till next year to do something? OK, right. <laughs> now, Lucia. Yeah. I'm a bit shocked, sorry. Here is the item that Wicked Will wants me to talk about. Yeah. It's one of your private parts. I've, you, got to, I've got to have a look. You have a slight suspicion, so run over to the, t to the TV and then run back on the phone as I show you. Go now, Lucia. OK. Go. <laughs> She's there. OK. Lucia, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> Lucia! Yes, I'm here. It's your little Russian dolls. <laughs> yeah. That Michaela has sent in and, and Nina, would you model them for me quickly? <laughs> Thank you. You're so good at modelling, you're so diverse and things. You're so so diver diversative. Um diarrhead. No. Diverse. Di what is the word I'm looking for? Don't listen to Wicked Will. Don't know. He's not talking to me at all. Uh, Lucia likes to keep old useless things. Like Nina. <laughs> Likes to keep old useless things from the past, like these dreadful Russian dolls. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut up, Will, just because we've been taking too long on this item and you're not happy. <laughs> um, OK, you've had, you've had them since Mikhail has known you, which has been 11 years. That's right. You always keep them in the same place, on the same shelf, in your room. That's right. So haven't you noticed them missing? Yes, I have. I told you I had a suspicion, but I didn't really have time to find out what really happened. Okay. Well, Michaela says, I really hate these dolls, but Lucia just refuses to get rid of them. I know. Even if she knows how I feel about them. Thank you, Nina. That's right. Now, Lucia. Yeah. You've had these a long time. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm sure that no one in Slovakia... Yeah. I'm sure that lots of people in Slovakia have these, but I no one in Slovakia has one of these. I can't you, Ray. You can't. Run to the TV, Lucia. Yeah? Run to the TV okay. quickly. Okay. Right. <laughs> Just have one. Hello. It's a most wanted. It's a most wanted bed set. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you, sleeping on a job. Sorry. You may be a hunk, but you're just no good with your stamina. Sort of me. So, Lucia. <laughs> yes? Would you like the most wanted bed set? You're covering the microphone, Curtis. It might be hilarious, but you're covering the microphone. Curtis? <laughs> Lucia. Yeah? Would you like to own the most wanted bed set as modelled by Cutis?